down to an unseen rendezvous three billion miles away, the moment the fastest spacecraft ever built crossed paths with Pluto. On its final approach, before breaking off communications with Mission Control, New Horizons took the most detailed photo yet, revealing a pockmarked world that is surprising scientists. There's a little bit of drama because this is true exploration. New Horizons is flying into the unknown. This is clearly a world where both geology and atmospheric climatology play a role because Pluto has strong atmospheric cycles. It snows on the surface. Uh, the snows sublimate and go back into the atmosphere each 248-year orbit. Those snows have been observed to move around on the surface, seen from 3 billion miles away. New Horizons has taken more than nine years to reach the far side of the solar system. It's now plunged between Pluto and its five known moons at a distance of just 7,800 miles. It's so busy orientating its camera for the best photo opportunities that it's been pre-programmed and it's in radio silence. Mission Control can't be certain they've spotted all the collision hazards and they'll be anxiously waiting for the spacecraft to phone home and then transmit Pluto's close-up. Are there lakes there of, of ethane or methane? Uh, are there glaciers of, of, of frozen volatiles? Are there craters? Are there freshly formed craters? Are there canyons and crevasses? We'll learn the composition of the rock. What's it like compared to the composition of other bodies? Pluto is the largest of an estimated 100,000 tiny worlds thought to circle the sun in the mysterious outer fringes of the solar system. Many comets originate here and there could also be clues to how the planets were formed. NASA says the spacecraft has gathered so much data in its Pluto flyby that it could take 16 months for it all to be sent to Earth. Thomas Moore, Sky News.